Hello, welcome back. Our resident designer, Hamish Dodd, and we're talking storage for kids' bedrooms. We are. We're talking kids' bedroom storage, yes. So, um, in this instant, there's a lot of stuff you can find on the uh, the internet, and um, I delegated once again, and my <laughs> dear sweet Jasmine, the producer, went online and found some of the best. You nice. see, the thing is, you can never have enough storage for a kid's bedroom. They've got so much flipping stuff, so many toys and clothes and too many things. Well, this is it. I mean, I personally like to have large plastic bins. We all know people do that. People, I'm sure, are going, sure you do, Hamish. <laughs> But, you know, I like to fill them up, cycle them in and out, and what I'm not using I try and store in the garage or somewhere out of the way, maybe in the attic or right. something like that. Actually, them, yeah. That's a really good idea. And then you slowly shuffle them out of the house as well. It's like, what toys? I don't believe you have those toys. they gone. <laughs> yeah. It just disappeared. And is all this storage solution cost-effective? That's the big question. It, it is. I mean, that, that's it. It can be. Plastic bins, they're relatively mm -hmm. cost-effective. But uh, moving on from there, mm. um, dear Jasmine found some real treasures for oh, us. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's like the Barbie storage system, which is a shoe holder. No way. Yeah, it this. goes on the back of a door. <gasps> Check that out. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, yeah, that's that a good idea. That is... child doesn't really play with those Barbies. They've still got their hair. <laughs> yeah, well, they've got their hair. You could use that for your Barbies. <laughs> yes, I could, Mel. When are you going on holiday, Mel? Storing, <laughs> <laughs> storing underneath beds. So you can use things like old drawers. You can make more containers. You can even buy beds now that are going back to having storage underneath them. A good idea. It sort of puts things nice and tidy and underway. Yeah, that right. is a good idea. What else have you found? Well, Jazz has found. <laughs> <laughs> what does Jazz found? Jazz has found clever ideas that you can make yourself and you can stick on the back of doors. That's not a that's bad cool. use of space, you know. Yeah, that's clever. So it could be on the back of the bedroom door, perhaps, or even the wardrobe door. Yeah, I like I that could a do lot. That. Yeah, hide or the just, magazines. Or just above your bed, so they can have a few books to read. You can. That's a really good idea. Thank you very we much. We like that. Yeah. Okay, this is a great one. So we've got the car storage system on the wall. Sensational. Who doesn't need to deal with Matchbox cars? Don't you like how colour coordinated they are? Too? Yes, that yes, I do is like it. That is clever. A little bit OCD with the cars. So that, the, I, yes. I know, but it shows it shows an ability to use colour, and but I'm yes, proud of that. Specifically, a car storage system. Well, yeah. I mean, you can buy them, or you yeah. can try making them yourself. Right. I mean, I think Jazz has even found a sweet picture of a um, a magnetic system. So what that is, you can buy. I think it was forty dollars for twelve meters of this magnetic strip. Right. Goes on the wall. There then you is. stick your cars on it. Delightful. That's clever. So you just stick your car straight onto it? Yeah, you do. I actually like this one the best. I think it, this, this is quite clever. Oh, the middle of the cars will stick to the magnet? Yeah, the middle of the car sticks to it. That oh. is ingenious. Now, she did find one terribly hideous one for us, um, yeah. which was actually using um, garden out, outdoor planter things, right. you know, for hanging plants. Look, didn't look good. Well, not, I'm not, not great, but nonetheless, we're going to talk about it. Okay. Now, what you do is you get it. You yeah. paint it yourself to perhaps match your children's walls. Yes. And you hang your little stuffed toys and your Here books in them. Yeah. Oh, OK, yeah. That, well, that looks all right, That's doesn't it? Well, it does. It off the floor. It's it's a, it does get it off the floor. It's great for the cuddly toys. It is, it, yeah, I have to admit, it was really good because the little legs poked through and it did oh. look quite cute. Yes. Okay. okay. We got one more. One, one more that we've got. We yeah, what was the last one? Oh yeah. yes, putting things in in the storage areas and then using something like a shower curtain, perhaps, or just a curtain you could get made up out of leftover fabric. Yeah. Okay. And it only lasts looking like that for about a day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I'm continually tidying, packing things onto shelves because I'm a little bit crazy about things like that, and then they're gone. Take the photo and then instantly they're yeah, done. Yeah, that's well. exactly right. Hey, well, Hamish, there Thanks. was. I love that Barbie one. Yeah. That's Barbie my one was favorite. very cool. That is going to be very, very useful for other things, not just Barbie. Thank you so much, Hamish. Some really cool ideas there.